the filly set to fly, full field of 14, and we're ready to go. Gates are back now and they're off and racing. Oh, Ole and the yellow white out began particularly well together with Alabama Charm and the red cap. Bella Zane's out very deep and Scrumptious improving on the rails from Pearl to Chocolat. Memo had to go back as Bell Mercy's charging along the rails. Fairy Steps trying to get onto its back. Very deep out. Autumn Blonde is over racing. Tupacari in the second half of the field from Voting Rights. Memo, it's outside from Queen of Clubs. Luma Light and Gal Jeanette, the last one. Well, Bell Mercy went right up the inside and holds the lot of them out. From OOLA, then came Fairy Steps. Alabama Charm under the pump from Bella Zane. Uh, Tupa Curry's all strung up. Got a check there from Scrumptious. Bell Mercy held together inside the 250. OOLA's flat to the boards doing the chasing. And then came Bella Zane, but Bell Mercy goes into another gear now, really starting to open up. Memo's making good headway on the outside, but Bell Mercy, that's a class performance. Bell Mercy won it comfortably from OOLA and Memo on the outside third in front of Tupacari doing a best work late. Then came Pearl de Chocolat from Scrumptious. Next in was Bella Zane from Queen of Clubs, Autumn Blonde. Further back to Voting Rights, Luma Light Girl, Jeanette, weakening out Alabama Charm and Fairy Steps was last to finish. Ah, she looked nice at the trials. And John Thompson's got himself a nice filly there. Bell Mercy in the hands of Chad Schofield, paying $3.60 and $1.80. Oole couldn't really hold a candle to her over the last 150, but having said...